Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kooky coming to you guys with another DIY. Alright, so in this video you will see me create a tufted frame for my mirror. Um, I do apologize in advance. I did not record everything. Go ahead and apologize in advance uh, because I did not record everything, but I will try to explain everything that I did um, in this video. And of course, you know, my next DIY videos, I'm going to make it my business to record everything. It's just you get so busy um, with trying to get everything done that you forget to record it. And so after the fact, I was like, dang, I didn't record the end in. But um, I hope I captured enough details for you guys to, you know, try this if you want to. Um, it's renter friendly. Um, of course, I live in an apartment. Um, so, yeah. So, when I move out of here, I can just rip this off real quick. Um, and then that's it. Okay. So, my flash turned off. It just is what it is. Um... But yeah, so I hope, I mean, well, I'm going to try to explain this thoroughly enough to where you guys uh, can understand this if you would like to try it on your own um, eventually. So, all right, I'll get into it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, all that great stuff. And also, I did embark on a new journey in my life. Um, I did relocate from South Carolina to Texas. And I was wanting to make a video explaining, you know, what I did and how I got here and, you know, the, the decisions I had to make to get here. Um, but let me know in the comment section below if you want a video uh, of a, a story time or whatever you want to call it of um, my journey from South Carolina to Dallas. Um, so, yeah. All right, you guys, we'll jump right into it. So what you see right now is cardboard. Yes, cardboard from any box that you find um, in the shape of your mirror. What I did was I took one piece of cardboard, took some school glue, and um, applied another piece of cardboard on top of it uh, just to make the frame thick. And then you tape it all together. All right, you guys, so I got the infamous Gorilla Glue adhesive spray um, that I'm using to hold down. I have one inch foam cushion from a Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I can't remember, um, but I cut it out into the shape of the frame and I'm spraying it down with spray adhesive or holding it down using spray adhesive. So the next step is to map out where you want the holes to be for your tufted design. Um, so this is your discretion as far as spacing, size, as however you want to put it or make them. Um, so you can see I was a little off once I started cutting my holes. So I kind of had to adjust and you see several different markings where I messed up a few times. But um, just make sure you have your holes correct. The markings don't really mean anything. It's going to get covered up, but yeah. So I did leave out a step. After you put down the foam and cut out your holes, cover the foam up with the batting. You're supposed to put that in between the fabric and the foam. So I did leave that out. I do apologize. All right. And here you want to use some screws 
and washers to secure the fabric and to create um, a big enough hole to where you can easily just hot glue that um, rhinestone right on top of it. Now you can use a staple gun. It'll do the same thing pretty much, um, but for this one, I just decided to use the screws in the washer. I think for my next project, I may use a staple gun to see how that actually works. But um, using the screws and the washers, it made it so much easier to hot glue the backside of that um, rhinestone and place it in place. I mean, it just made it so easier for me. All right, with proceeding with the next ones, um, just make sure you stretch your fabric out. Uh, it just makes it look smoother in the end um, so you won't have too much bunching going on. You guys that's pretty much it um yeah i didn't record anything else uh <laughs> so uh what you pretty much do is you know just cut all the excess fabric uh, from around it and um you want to tuck it underneath pull tight as you can tuck it underneath and staple use a staple gun 
to hold it in place. And I went and got these little blingy rhinestone button thingies and hot glued them onto the screws in the washers. Um, and but being that the screw was flat, it just made it so much easier. But um, my next project, I'm probably gonna try to use a stable gun to see what that does. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's it, y'all. It came out good. The only thing I did, I won't lie to you guys, I did struggle on the corners. Um, so don't look too closely at the corners. You may see some imperfections. And another thing, uh, you may want to cover, I didn't do this, uh, cover the screws up, like get an extra piece of fabric and just like hot glue it on the back of it just to give it a more finished look. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I should have done that. Uh, now that I think about it, because you can see the screw in the mirror. You can see my back to back of it. I may take this down and do that, but probably not. Anyway, so yeah, that's it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Until next time. Peace. To bags, of things. And I know you so well, near. So where's my